the fishing cat, one of the only two cats out of 40 odd ones in the world. For the fishing cat, fish are central to their ecology, shaping their behavior and social dynamics. It loves mud, water and of course fish. Though catching fish is tricky business. Covered with slippery mucus, these fishes have evolved to become escape artists. Success depends on experience, skill and a little luck as well. Other fish, such as the climbing perch, have a unique escape strategy. They dig deep inside the mud. Finding fish every night is challenging indeed. Fishes pique the fishing cat's excitement and playfulness like no other. Fish abundance is high in Chilika, sustaining a high density of the cats, as well as close to 2 lakh fishermen families. Dawn breaks with an opportunity to rest and recharge. However, the remains of last night's struggles must be cleansed first through a ritual familiar to the cat world. Finally, it's time for a peaceful retreat. These cubs, however, are in no mood to sleep. At one and a half months, they are bundles of energy and non-stop trouble. Even a loving mother can run out of patience sometimes. But no love is lost. For the bonds between fishing cat mothers and cubs are very strong. Only one or two survive in a litter. Wetlands change their forms dramatically with the seasons. And so does the availability of food. Here in Chilika, the fishing cats share their space in this rich wetland environment with a diversity of life forms, especially these aquatic gymnasts, otters.
and as is normal, fights can happen when spaces are shared. These documentations are part of a year-long patrolling and monitoring initiative involving local residents from the fishermen community in Chilika who follow the lives of individual fishing cats and name them. These cubs are about two months old. They have just started to learn their lessons of hunting in water. This is Choti. She had sustained injuries to her leg in 2019, but remains remarkably resilient. These cubs are her third litter ever since we started following her. After three months, the cubs grow quickly, as do their appetites. Providing for them becomes increasingly harder. Choti's cubs are now over five and a half months old. They are almost her size now. She has moved to a new location which allows her to hunt bigger fish more frequently. This new area is also frequented by her current partner and the father of her cubs. During this time, we witnessed something remarkable. The father came to visit the cubs with Choti, a behavior never recorded before in the wild. A few months later, At about eight months, Choti's cubs succeed in hunting all by themselves. But still share their lives with their mother, especially the thrill of having hunted a fish all by themselves. From here on, the cubs will grow increasingly independent and will soon move out to search for their own territories. A journey towards an increasingly uncertain future.